what's up youtube and welcome to this react tutorial so the video is about functional components in react and a component is part of your application and by combining several of these components you get a complete web page so in this video we will look at some examples of components we will make our uh, custom text box our custom selector and a custom button so let us begin and the only other component that exists is the uh, class component that we will talk about in the next video uh, so for now let us create our custom text box inside components text box and let me create a new file index.js and we will create a function text box that takes props and return we will return two things first is the label and the second thing is an input and, and you can see that it's giving me an error because uh, I can return just one thing so if I want to return uh, several things I have to put an empty tag or a div around these elements so now I can return any number of elements. This text box will have a property of props.label which will fill this label and this input will have a type of let's say uh, let me create a variable here type and it will take the type from props so props.type and uh, if the type is null means if the type is empty I will use the ternary operator so uh, if the type is empty then assign it text otherwise just assign the props.type let me export this text box now inside my app I will uh, give it a reference import text box and the visual code uh, fills up the import statement for me now I can use the text box component and it is necessary that uh, a component must start with a capital letter so this text box will have a label of let's say email and uh, the hint will say enter a valid email let's run this so we have this label a text box and a placeholder inside it we need to edit it to make it look good We also can give it an ID. ID is equals to the props dot ID, and the name will be the same as the ID. So if I pass TB1, you will see that there is an input with a placeholder enter a valid email an id and a name of tb1 and i actually put the condition wrong this condition means that if props.type is not null then this is true then assign the props.type Otherwise, if the props.type is null, then assign text. So it is now type text. Now let us worry about the CSS. So import index.css. And now I'm gonna create that CSS. Index.css. The name of the classes in the CSS must be uh, unique so it doesn't mix with the other CSS in the project so I will name them like text box 
based label something like this and I am putting the display to inline block so class name and in uh, JSX format we don't use the word class this is because class is a reserved keyword in the JavaScript So whenever this text box has focus, its border color should become something like orange red. So the class name, text box based input and now let's see the results. So our text box now looks like this. And uh, let me add some more text boxes. So, so this looks like this. We can add uh, a little more code to the text box. So each of the text box are in, in the next line. And let me remove the uh, hints. So it looks this good. So we are creating uh, this uh, uh, these text boxes with uh, labels beside them with just writing text box and uh, giving them a label. So this is how component works. Uh, they make your life easy. So now uh, let us create uh, our second uh, functional component which is the selector. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process. So I am creating a folder selector, creating a new file index.js index.css. Uh, so let us create the select component selector. So a selector will have options. So I will create a new variable options and props dot option split them with commas. So this is a uh, built in string function that will return an array of options. Now return. So uh, I will copy the label from the text box. and then a select element which will have the following options so there is a function in javascript which can map the elements inside an array so options dot map and this function takes another function which can be an arrow function which will take two argument first is the option second one is the index And this uh, map function will be responsible for creating our options. It is necessary to return something uh, within the map function and we are returning option. The option will have a key. The key makes the option unique. So the JSX format uh, tells us that uh, an option or an li element must have a unique key. So uh, this will be its unique key and the option will say opt which will be the value. opt and the value will also be opt. So this will uh, create our select statement. Let us write some CSS and this will be options. Uh, the CSS for the label will be the same uh, with a little changes so it will be called selector based label now let us see how they look like
class name this props dot id now let us use this here import selector now i can use the selector and uh, the label is gender and options are so this is the combo box that is created import index dot css and let us now check the results so this is our combo box uh, it looks uh, a little big height 30 and So this looks a lot better. So this is our custom selector, which comes with a, a predefined uh, label with its custom CSS. So this is all it took to write our selector. So now let us create our custom button, but I will call it press because I already have a button component in the React Bootstrap and we will talk about React Bootstrap in a different video. So for now, I am naming it as press and uh, the button will have a size and we will decide the size of the button uh, with a method uh, different than the one we used in heading. Size will be equals to and then props dot size I am creating another variable for the back and four color of the button and it will be decided with props dot color dot split with a minus sign and it will also have margins but we only need two type of margins so uh, props dot I will name this attribute MLT so margin left and top and split it with the same method so a minus sign and then uh, in JSX uh, a thing that I can do is I can create a variable style or whatever the name with an object containing all the properties such as So return button the style would be the style variable there will uh, there will be a variable classes which will contain the size class the name that we built here then and this classes variable will be assigned to the class name another thing is that the button will also have some text so the text will go inside the buttons in our html props dot id so now let us work on some css This, uh, this minimum width uh, will not bound the width of the uh, button so if the text is too large so it will increase its width accordingly so a medium and a large button and you can go with a lot of sizes I am just defining these three and the font size uh, will increase by 2 so any rules that you want to put here never forget to import the CSS and also to export the function
now import press now let us use our button so button and let's put the size to large text is navy and white the margin left and top is let's say 100 and 20 it's actually called press so now it is compiled successfully and we can see that uh, our button is here the height was not uh, applied to it correctly because I didn't give uh, the gap over here and also it should also end with a BR tag So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.